Let's talk about data quality and we'll define it by giving some examples of a way, what would not constitute good data quality. That would include duplicate data or duplicate records, null, missing, or incomplete data, incorrect data, and data that conflicts across source systems. Um, so what do you do if you have uh, bad data quality? Well, option number one, that is the if you're lucky option, the source will be in line with your business or your BI initiatives and you can send the data back to them for correction and notify the business. Option number two is you're going to have to cleanse uh, the data, a process called data cleansing um, or data scrubbing. This can be a manual process or an automated process. You can either set up rules or there are systems to help you uh, with this data cleansing process. Metadata, as many of you know, is data about data. Remember when the NSA said that they would only collect metadata on your phone calls? That is, rather than capturing the conversation, they captured phone numbers, location that you were dialing from, time, frequency, and so on. Looking at this example, we can see how metadata is important to business intelligence and the business itself. Data lineage is a type of metadata, and that describes where all the data came from. And in order to comply with the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, you must keep record of the data's origin. So data lineage, lineage is very important. The data model is also another form of metadata. The entity relationship diagrams are used to describe metadata structurally called structural metadata. This is in contrast to the model being described textually, which we'll describe we'll call descriptive metadata.